Oh my God, did you like see Jordan's Snapchat? Oh my God, no, like what was it? Oh my God, it was like the most Snapchattiest thing ever. So do you know what Snapchat is? Shut up. Yeah, but Noam Chomsky was a renegade. He is, but I think his linguistic work will end up being more renowned than his philosophy. I'm sorry, but I beg to differ. He still is known as one of the greatest philosophical minds of our time. I mean, yeah, but his linguistics will always take precedent over his philosophies or his activism or any other of his impressive work. Ugh. Get out of here! Jesus, Madison. Oh my God. Don't they have a college town they should be blacking out in? <laughs> oh my God, that's horrible. Are we the problem? We should be supporting these women. Oh, you can get out too. Yeah, you know, the thing is, I don't feel 30, and I don't feel like I look like I'm 30, whatever that means, but then I see a 20-year-old skin, and I'm like, yeah, okay, I get it. I mean, being 30 is great. Yeah. yeah. You don't think so? No, it's great. It is, no, it, I mean, there's good things about being 30, like wisdom or... Don't you, like, care less a little bit? <laughs> a li maybe a little. I don't right. know. There's what more do weddings to go to. Then. That, that's what I was going to say. My point is, is that I was going to say, I went to my cousin's wedding in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. She did the bouquet toss, and I was literally the only person over the age of 14 on the dance floor. Dude. Dude, that shit pisses me off. Yeah. It's like, yeah, if I was still 22 or something and like I was still young and single and sexy and I knew that we were gonna go home with one of those young, sexy, single groomsmen for some like irresponsible sex afterwards. Yeah, but just like the sloppiest drunk sex. Oh yeah, like it's not even good. Oh, oh no, it's terrible. Well, like consensual. Well then yeah, I'll catch your fucking bouquet, but not now, no. No one wants to be single on the dance floor. It's like a scarlet letter. Yes, and then afterwards everyone's like, don't worry, you're gonna find one. And I'm like, oh yeah, I don't know. Things aren't looking really good right now. And everyone looks so sad. Yeah, like the most Look. Yeah, like, oh, poor spinster. And I'm like, I'm not sad, I'm fine. I've got seven wonderful cats that love me. Yeah, but fucking men? Don't get me started. Why is an old single man sexy and an old single woman sad? What is that fucked up double standard? Also, though, old single guy, not as sexy as everyone thinks. Every time I see one, I think to myself, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, yeah, especially if he's attractive. Oh, my mm -hmm. God, especially mm -hmm. if he's attractive. Honestly, I stay the fuck away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something must be wrong. He's like a serial killer, can only come if he's watching anime porn, which might be worse, honestly. OK, on the count of three, serial killer or anime porn fetish guy? One, two, three, serial killer. Serial killer. I like anime. <laughs> Great. Listen, all I'm saying is I just want a normal age, ugly man. That's it. Is that asking too much? Probably. It, might, it honestly might be asking too yeah, much. Yeah, and he's like balding. But like yeah. not even like reasonable top balding. And a little fat, but it's a strange, <laughs> this strange like side balding. You know, I just want no one to compete with me. Well, like some kind of genetic faux hawk? Who's balding like that? But I would take a little little tummy yeah. over. Oh, tummy's fine. Balding. He's a little tummy. Yeah, like a little dad bod. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking that maybe I should end up with a guy who has Alzheimer's. No, so then he doesn't remember who I am half the time, so it's like it's new. No. There's, there's like a part of me that can get behind that. Yeah. Yeah, I because it's ethically No. Not well, you don't okay. want to be with the same person for the rest of your uh, life, I'm right? Like the that's kind of the stranger fantasy like that does like it does something for me. Or maybe like a widower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a sad, broken man whose wife died, but not like super tragically, like in a really, a really drawn out way. So by the end of it, he's like, Jesus, I love you, but will you just fucking die already? So by the time he finds me, he's ready for like a mostly healthy, youngish woman he can fuck without worrying he's gonna break her disease ridden bones. Jesus. That's fucking dark. No. It's, is it? Yes. yes. You, no one else? No, it's no? fucked up. You want to have Alzheimer's. Like, what are, who are you? <laughs> that's fair. That's, that's <gasps> kind of fucked up. Too. We should. Hi. Sorry, I never do this, but just over there with my friends, and I wanted to come over and say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I like your blanket. Oh, thanks. All right. Um, have a good afternoon. Oh, my God. What is wrong with people? We're fucking impossible. Can't they see we are just trying to hang out? Yeah, I was, did I do something that was like, come talk to me? Ugh, finding a good man is so hard. It's, it's so, so hard. hard. 
Uh, just okay. lift them up, lift them up. Hey, buddy. Hey. Next time, man. Your wife just died. Yeah, and it was so drawn out. Yeah, it was horrible. First one's gonna be the hardest. Did you tell him you licked their blanket? Oh, yeah. Of course I did. He was kind of bald, right? Yes. Right. Let's wait for hot guys. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you okay. No life. No life. <laughs> <laughs>